hard to breathe, but that's alright. Hush. Hello everyone and welcome back to House Gardener. My name is Mate and we are going to continue with this Reach playthrough in the Dragon Conquest era. Currently uh, they are still trying to take the Riverlands and uh, the Iron Islands from Harren the Black. Let's see how they do. Only 4% in favour of him so we will uh, see what happens. But it looks like Hayford has been sieged. Which doesn't bode well for him. But Dragonstone is still the capital, so I guess that's what needs to be besieged. I could get bloody vengeance with him and try and take him out right now. Uh, and in doing so, I would get the Starks and the Rock both involved. And my, uh, my thought process is to to do that because if I can take him out he is the one with the highest marshal and largest force to uh, to deal with his wives will be an issue but we can uh, give it a go and try and eliminate this Targaryen threat early on meanwhile your grace I've heard I write to you with bad news from Highgarden efforts to squeeze extra taxes has not been successful so you're injured, which is not the best. If you're enjoying the series, please do consider leaving a like, as all support is greatly appreciated. And uh, do consider subscribing for all the content that I am currently releasing. He still has my brother as well, which I'm kind of annoyed about. So I think we're going to do it. Declare... Ah, oh, I can't. It says he holds him though. So surely I should be able to. Garth is a blood relative. And it doesn't say he's dead. So I'm not quite sure why it won't let us. If you want to improve your skill at diplomacy, you need to become a confident public speaker. Swaying the hearts and minds of men is not an easy thing, but I've started practicing and things can only improve. So I actually... I can't get a uh, a war going with you. All right, let's try taking Dragonstone from you. Uh, if we can. Yeah, Harren the Black is there. I'm I'm hoping Harren doesn't lose, but it's now 29% in his favour. So it looks like Harren the Black might be out. Also need to think about forging an alliance with you. You've only got the one daughter though, which she's married to nobody. I'm considering whether it was a mistake to marry the North instead of the Stormlands, but I don't know. You've got 23k troops. Are you blind from age? Wow. Nine more's married already, a man would he? Okay. Well, I mean, none of the realm is really going to war, because we all know what's coming. And I guess, in our little coalition, if one of us gets attacked, then the others can come and support. I've got good loyalists, and everyone is uh, very much in our favour. You want to join? 20 gold? I'm happy to pay that. Another 5%. Doesn't get me anywhere near the target I'm hoping for, but we might get lucky. There is a plot to rescue, which I will join. Don't think we need to take out a loan or do, of, do any of the other bits. Right, what's going on? God, still afraid of the crossing, wow. My Septon Raymond reports that Norman of Thornton Hall has been humbled by my endless generosity. Good. How are you doing, Aaron? You sure you don't want me to join? Can I just seek redress in your time of need? 
Whilst I do not doubt the sincerity of your allegations, I present with this letter irrefutable proof that the men pillaging your lands were not associated with me or my subjects. Raids can be... Okay, well... He's made his excuses. So where's Aegon at the moment? He's currently in hiding, so he's not even fighting in the war. She's in Dragonstone. Renners, however, is in Maidenpool, so she's the one that's going to be causing the damage for the minute. Gas asks, why is the church so rich when the peasants are starving and poor? Because for the poor is the kingdom of heaven. Wow, okay. So he could become zealous, which does give him martial. He actually became greedy, which I'm not unhappy with. It's a bonus to tax. He's slowly mastering the art of the sword. How am I with a sword? 60 for my age. That's not bad. That's uh, that's pretty good, to be fair. Edmund, you've got decent decent marshal, but you're not the best. I'm going to make you Knight of the Order. Just because. Considered to be the most honourable and pious. So he is a dubious knight, but shall be in the Order. Or he's not worthy. So he gains the minor title Knight of the Order of the Green Hand and gains 50 prestige. This is going to cost me some gold and some prestige. Let's do it. Give my son some... Some acclaim. Prince Marine is very rude to people. Don't be rude. Don't get that bad, bad trait. I don't think we're going to get any further in trying to kill him. What about killing his wife then? What about killing her? How would that do? Even worse. Wow, they like her. What about Visenya? Visenya is a possibility, but again, not that great. I think we're just going to have to deal deal with this with the troops, you know. Good old-fashioned way. It's now 40% in his favour, so it's getting dangerously close. Uh, and unless he kills my brother, I cannot do this, and I can't ransom for him. Because he won't accept it. Hmm. That's a shame, really. You're plotting some bits and pieces. Let's let's have peace in our lands. Come on, guys, we're gardeners. Have a non-aggression pact. And have some quiet period. You want an honorary title. I'm prepared to give you one as soon as I can. Good. My son's having some kids, which is nice. Keeper of the Swans. Let's give that to you, Wilbert. Um, sure, you can be master of the horse. High Admiral. King's Justice. Edmund, you could be the King's Justice. Cupbearer. Uh, Golden Grove, why not? High Almoner. Blueburn. Let's just keep people happy. And another... How many people can I have in this? 99 more people. So it costs me gold every time. That's interesting. Okay, so I'll have to bear that in mind. But uh, a nice little additional honorary title we can give out. So I could make you a knight of the order as well. Total waste of gold, but it's fine. How are you doing in your war? 
Oh, this is not good. If you only allowed me to help you, then we would. The three of us as allies could go and help you. But sadly, the uh, diplomatic system is not as intricate as I would like. And you're still not going to ransom him to me at all, which is a shame. Oswald Tarly has informed you that the new flagship of the Reachman fleet is complete. The Dromund has overseen has 700 oars, and the huge sail is blazoned with the arms of House Gardner. Many hundreds of people gather to watch it be launched. So we get a good deal of prestige for that. Um, oh, I think we could name it name in honour of our father, King Gas. Excellent. So we now have a tier 3 flagship for the gardeners, which is excellent. Do I actually get any ships from you? No. There are some raids going on from Iron Islanders, which I'm going to try and put a stop to. Because I don't want them raiding my subjects. My lord, Prince Edmunds approaches me with clothes stained with dirt and fire. Would you do me the honour of bestowing a nickname upon me? You deserve a good name. Fairest of High Garden. The Dove. The Pest. Uh, sure, be the fairest of High Garden. Got to keep building his prestige up. After all, he will be the future king... And this should see these raiders off our lands. Get away from these islands. Go and raid the westerns, that's fine. So you guys can be disbanded, which is lovely. Okay, he seems to have paused in support. Actually, Blackwater Bay would be quite a nice place for us to get. But I suppose Dragonstone is the main... The main position. Robert, you're plotting. Let's not plot, guys. So let's have a look at the faction. Faction-wise, we're still strong. Religion-wise, we have a couple of places. Old Town needs a, a sept. Okay, that plot's only going to get to 34%. Which is, uh... Unfortunate, but... Ah, uh, there we go. That is it. Harren Hall is now lost. So I can claim an area. I can claim Blackrush, but that is it. So the Iron Islands are now dealt with. I wonder what he did with... So he didn't kill Harren, but Harren now serves under him. And now the Stormlands is under attack, so he has called for our aid. Shall we aid him? I think we probably should. But I am going to end the episode here and defer to the comments. Is now the time to stand up against Aegon and try and take him out after his recent victory in the Riverlands and Iron Islands? If you believe so, please do let me know in the comments. Uh, leave a like if you're enjoying the series and subscribe for more content. And I'll see you all in the next episode. Hello.